everyone out there in cyberspace land. My name is Ms. Alicia and I'm with the Irma Branch Library here at the Lexington County Public Library System. And today we're going to talk about fractured and twisted tail. Now you might be familiar with a fractured tail as they are a slight retelling of more of the famous uh, fairy tales. So Instead of Cinderella going off to see a prince, she might be a cyborg, or instead of Rapunzel from a tall tower, she might be in a space station. But today we're going to talk about some of these fractured fairy tales. And so for you to look and put on your next reading list. So the first one we're going to talk about is Ella Enchanted. This is by Gail Carson Levine. And Ella is not your typical damsel in distress. She really has no need for a Prince Charming or anyone to come rescue her. She's going to rescue herself. She's been blessed with a certain wish from her crazy fairy godmother that she must always obey. And she wants to rid herself of the curse. And along the way, she meets some interesting characters and a Prince Charming. And like I said, she doesn't really need a Prince Charming. She can rescue herself. Now, you might have seen the movie about Ella Enchanted. The movie's close to the book, but I would suggest reading the book to see how it differs from the movie. Um, and it also has a sequel called Ogre Enchanted. What's with the ogres? You will see in the film, in the book. So, I would highly suggest reading Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. Now, we all know the traditional Beauty and the Beast story. We've seen the remake of Beauty and the Beast, but have you read Beastly? Beastly is by Alex Flynn, and this too has been made into a movie, uh, a little bit different. Now, instead of the prince, the prince being turned into the beast, how about a very rich, stuck-up, snobby prince of New York City? being turned into a ghastly beast and he is falls in love with a girl from the other side of the tracks. Does she really see him for what his true potential could be or does she just see him as this annoying snobby rich kid? It's called Beastly by Alex Flynn. Now we go to Snow White. We all know Snow White. She's in the forest. She's got her dwarf. Well, this is Snow White by Matt Fellin, and it's a graphic novel, and this one is actually set in a noir setting. So it's a little bit darker of a setting, and it tells it in the 1920s and 30s. So this is not your typical Snow White book, but does it end the same? Hmm. Yes, you have to read. This can be found in our juvenile graphic novel section. Now this series here that I have in the back um, is a great series, especially for those who like fractured fairy tales and, ha and like their geek love. Um, Geekerella is based in Charleston, South Carolina, and it's about a girl, and it's really a story about a girl and her father and a shared love they have of a Comic Con or Fan Con um, that's set in Atlanta. And it's really fun to pick out the Cinderella concepts of what is the pumpkin, what's the carriage, who is the stepsister. So this is a really fun one to read together as a group of friends and discuss all of the different hidden ones. And this one is by Ashley Poston. She's actually from Lexington. So she's really fun to read. And kind of a sequel. Um, to it is The Princess and the Fangirl. It's a retelling of The Prince and the Pauper, but again, it goes into, kind of follows the story of the movie and the fan con that's part of this one, but it's set in The Prince and the Pauper. And then the next one, again, if you know, I like Beauty and the Beast. I love that library. So this one is another one same universe as the first two, and it's called Bookish and the Beast. And for all of us library people, we love our books. So I would highly suggest taking a look at these three that can be found in our young adult fiction. 
So these are just some of the ones for our Fractured Fairy Tale collection. We also have lots more if you look in our card catalog online, or if you come into any of the branches, we can show you some of our Fractured Fairy Tale ones. Now, let's take a look at Twisted Tales. Alrighty, so we looked at Fractured Fairy Tales where most of the time there is a happy ending and the prince and the princess live happily ever after and all is well. What if nobody gets their happily ever after? What if things don't go according to plan? So welcome to Twisted Tales. So this is a fun genre too, if you like your fairy tales a little bit darker um, or a little bit grim, if you've heard of the Brothers Grimm and they wrote the original fairy tales, um, yeah, they're kind of grim. Yeah, they, they use that word, they're a little bit dark. And I'm gonna show you some of these. This book is actually a very fun collection. Um, this is called Grimm and it is a collection of very famous young adult authors um, some of these are like Ellen Hopkins, Claudia Gray, uh, Kimberly Durkin, Rachel Hawkins. Um, so a lot of different ones came together and they wrote classic fairy tales but with a dark and sinister twist. So Grimm contains short stories. Um, so if you like your fairy tales short and, I was going to say short and sweet, but maybe short and bitter. This is a great collection to pick up. Um, you can read one a night, you can read a couple in a day. It's a really fun collection. And this you're gonna find in our young adult nonfiction section, which is gonna be shelved in the adult nonfiction. So this is yet another collection of twisted fairy tales. Um, it's got 20 stories in, and I like it says, The Dark and Dangerous Heart, if you like your classic stories. So these are uh, traditional fairy tales with a dystopian makeover. Um, so it, it's, like I said, it's about 20, and it's the, you know, Snow White, Rapunzel, The Red Shoes, Beauty and the Beast, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty. So some of these you might be very familiar with, and some of these you might not be so familiar with, but you'll, you'll see it, and it'll start making sense to you, like Little Red Riding Hood, she doesn't really get a lot of different ones. So if you like your Twisted Fairy Tales, again, I like what it says, with a dark and dangerous heart, pick up your Twisted Fairy Tales, and that's going to be in our Young Adult Fiction section. So the three that I have up here, um, Disney has come out with a set of books about what ifs. Um, so there's, I think about maybe 12 to 14 of them, and we have several of them here in our branch and in, in the system, but these are called, um, you know, the Twisted Fairy Tales. So what, I love these, um, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast? Mmm, that's an interesting one. If you know Beauty and the Beast, you know who did curse them. What if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late? Okay, and then what if Wendy was the, traveled to Wonderland? What if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook instead of Peter Pan? So, there's some thinking going on. And this collection is by a couple of different authors. Uh, Liz Braswell is one of the authors. Um, yeah, Liz Braswell. And um, she's written a lot of them. Um, and there's like two other ones as well. But if you look up Twisted Disney Tales, um, you can find that in our card catalog as well. So. That concludes my little book talk for today for all of you guys out there. Please remember that we are here and we are here to help. So if you have any questions about books or book suggestions, please visit your local branch. We have lots of books out and we have some fun displays out in our branches as well. You can always call us, each of the individual branches, and then we also have chat with a librarian on our website as well. And don't forget, if you need some of that homework help because you're at home, check out our online 
resources and look under Discus and there's a whole bunch of help there for you. And if you need help, give us a call. We'll walk you through it or just come in and we'll be glad to talk to you. So I hope to see you guys again soon and have a wonderful day.